Hi, my name is Peter Coleman and I'm the head of Red Studios here in Hollywood. We're happy to have you here. Well, let's take you on a little tour. So Red Studios is a hundred year old studio in Hollywood, California. It's one of the oldest studios in Hollywood. We have a total of five sound stages. Um, our stage one that you'll see over here is our largest stage. It's, it's currently going to be the home to an up and coming dance television show and it's also the home of Mass Singer for the last several years. So um, our, stages are all, our, our stages are all in varying different sizes. This is our largest stage and next to it is stage two is our smallest stage. We typically operate with two clients on our lot at any given time. And as of right now, actually, we have two separate Fox television clients on our lot. So one of the things that we're most proud of here at the studio is our level of service. Uh, we think we're one of the best customer services uh, businesses in our industry. And one of the key to our service is our coffee. Uh, it's something we started a few years ago when we closed down our restaurant and decided to have uh, coffee service for everybody here on the lot. But to do that, in our opinion, the best way to have the best cup of coffee in town was to actually roast all of our own coffee here on the lot. So Red Studios actually roasts every day uh, exactly what we drink, and then we serve it through our mobile coffee cart over here. So let me take you over here and show you the, the center of our customer service coffee. So having a mobile coffee cart is very important to us because our shows change all the time. So whoever's on the lot, the type of show, whether they're on the lot or actually on location, it was very important for us to have actually a mobile coffee shop. So we had this custom design for us here in Hollywood. Um, we've, we've had it now for two years and it's worked out really, really well. With that, we actually also have um, our coffee roasting machine, which we also use mobily. We will move it around the lot because not only is it important to have fresh coffee, but we also want the smell of the fresh coffee. So depending on what's going on, we'll move not just this, but our actual roaster around to service the clients. My name's Kayla. I am the barista. I was the barista at Red Studios Hollywood for a year. I am now working in the sales department here at Red Studios. And in my time in the coffee cart, this was seriously one of the most unique coffee environments that I've ever worked in. I've been working at four different coffee shops over my six years now in coffee, and this has been my favorite place I've ever worked. The people that you get to meet throughout your experience here is just really crazy, honestly. I've never experienced anything like it. And the coffee here is amazing. Everyone loves it. The fact that it's roasted on lot and is freshly roasted literally the day before, such a selling point for our customers. Everybody loves it here and I love it here. Interesting enough, I mean, I can't say enough great things about the roaster today, but originally it really had to do with the design. Um, you know, we, this, our business actually came out of the, the, uh, the camera industry. So, so Red, Red Camera, Red Digital Cinema uh, was one of the first digital cameras for the, for the film industry. And so we, we spent a lot of time on industrial design. It's very important to us. So the look of the roaster was hugely important to us. So I, I tested a lot of different roasters. I talked to a lot of different places and it really started with that. Then I fell in love with it as it relates to just the real ease of use. It, it roasts enough for us. So we'll do probably three or four roasts a day. We don't really need much more than that. As I mentioned before, it was important for us to be able to have it somewhat portable. And this was kind of the right model um, to be able to do everything that we wanted to do. So everyone always asks, since I run a movie studio, how did I get into coffee? Actually, it goes way back to when I was pretty young. My grandfather was one of the largest importers of coffee on the West Coast. Um, so I grew up roasting coffee with my grandfather in his office. The first roaster that I got 25 years ago was another fluid bed roaster that my grandfather gave me before he passed away. So I've been roasting for my own self for years. It wasn't until I got here that I really realized, you know, how I could make coffee kind of a, an important signature for us here at the studio. And so that's when I decided I needed a slightly larger roaster and something that was a little bit more, uh, you know, had that better design that I talked about earlier uh, that we could really show off to our clients to make again, as I always say, it's, it's really our biggest customer service point here, having the fresh roasted coffee.
There you go. Perfect. 